Hey guys, I am Game Advisor, and welcome back to another Icarus Tips video. We do have made a few other of these, so if you haven't watched that, consider checking them out. They should be pretty helpful no matter where you're at in your gameplay, but with that being said, let's get started. First up is that mushrooms simply don't exist in the game right now. I'm hoping this will be fixed relatively soon, but at this point in time I have not been able to find anyone who has been able to find mushrooms, so if you happen to know where they're at, this mysterious magical object known as apparently a mushroom, then go ahead and let us know down in the comments. Otherwise, any ingredients that require a mushroom for a cooking recipe currently are not accessible. Second is that wine and beer actually don't stack, so save yourself the blueprint points and don't research them both. It's a complete waste, I personally prefer to go with the wine route because it's pretty cheap to make the actual recipe for it. However, it really doesn't matter which one you take, they're both not that expensive and at the end of the day, like I said, they do not stack so there's really no reason to actually pick up both recipes. Third on the list is that crop plots can be placed indoors and biomes will also not affect their growth rate. So if you didn't already know this, if you make crop plots and you place them inside your house, they will still grow at the same exact rate they would normally. You can also place them in the snow biome or you can place them in the desert biome and they will still continue to grow at the same pace. Fourth is actually kind of related to growing plants, and that's just the simple fact that it takes one full hour to grow a plant. At the current point in time, it seems like pretty much every plant takes about one hour, give or take a couple minutes. From my experience in doing a little bit of testing, that seems to be the case. With that being said though, I do think that farming is probably going to get an overhaul at some point, at least I really hope it does, and I hope the devs know that so far the farming in this game is pretty rough around the edges, so if you're listening to this devs consider fixing that and maybe changing just at least the growth rates of some items a little bit and making farming a little bit more enjoyable. Fifth is that you should be making cloth gear or fiber gear, whatever you want to call it, right away whenever you start a mission, assuming you don't already have the good set from your workshop. The reason this is is because it's going to give you a 5% move speed bonus. So if you have an objective you just have to run to and you really don't need to stay in the area, you might as well just gather the plants on the ground while you're running. And as soon as you get the full five piece set from the fiber set, you'll then get a 5% move speed increase so you can complete your mission just that little bit faster. I'm sure you guys have had to run long distances in Icarus, so hopefully this will help you out. Sixth is that you can kill bears by swimming backwards in water. So what this is talking about is if you didn't already know, whenever you have an animal hunting you down, you can go into a deep body of water. So be careful with rivers because rivers don't always work with bears. They're not always deep enough. And when the bear starts to swim, it actually won't be able to catch you because you can swim a little bit faster than it and continue to pump arrows into it while doing so. I know there's a large lake in the Riverlands biome. I've done this in a lot, but you can also do this with wolves and rivers again you just have to be careful of how shallow it is because if it's too shallow they'll be able to walk and they will catch you. Seventh is that bears do actually have a small chance to drop prime meat, while polar bears have a significantly higher chance to drop it. There are a few other creatures in the game that will drop this, but when you're starting out, bears are pretty much your only source of prime meat if you actually care about it. It's just kind of a random fact that would be nice to know, since a lot of people seem to be struggling with actually figuring out where prime meat comes from, so if you are looking for it and you still haven't gotten to polar bears, or maybe you just don't want to deal with them yet, you can actually get them from regular bears at a very low drop rate. I want to say it's 1 in 5 or 1 in 10 roughly, but we're not 100% sure. Eighth is another food related one, and that's just the simple idea that flatbread is kind of a bit OP. If you didn't already know this, you can make bread dough in the herbalism bench and then cook it and make flatbread. Flatbed gives you 100% regen for your stamina. If you have to run a long distance or have to use a lot of stamina to mine or chop trees, this is going to save you a lot of time. You'll also get bonus XP from it, which is honestly pretty great as well. The most important thing here though is that it is incredibly cheap and only requires some simple wheat. If you build yourself a bone sickle even and go find one wheat field, you can usually get about 20 flatbread out of that, sometimes more or less depending on how big it is, but at the end of the day, it's an extremely useful food that is extremely powerful and very cheap to make. Number nine is that you can put food in the drop pod and it will not decay. Now, it is worth mentioning that the main reason I even bring up this tip is because when you go on the mission in the very beginning that you have to grow a ton 
ton of plants for. This is incredibly useful. You don't have to have a refrigerator. All you need to do is build near the drop pod, put your food in the drop pod, and congratulations, it's now not going to decay. So if you have a surplus of pumpkins, watermelons, cooked meat, raw meat, whatever it is, and you just need somewhere to shove it, you can put it in the drop pod to prevent decay. However, it does not work in your drop pod, so it's something to take note of. 10 is actually a fix for a bug that a lot of people have quit the game over. Well, if you didn't already know this, there's actually a bug in the game that can cause you to not be able to loot your body. What happens is, is you die and then you run back and you just can't see it. However, it is actually still there. It's just invisible. So the trick is to go ahead and log out and log back into the game, then go ahead and reload the mission and you should be able to see it. I've seen a lot of people quit the game over this because they think all their items are gone and they're unable to play anymore or just really don't want to grind out all those workshop items again. So if you have had this happen to you, log out, log back in, and it should reappear. This may not work for everyone, but it seems to be working for the vast majority of players. With all that being said, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more Icarus and other survival game content. I'm Game Advisor, and I'll see you next time.